Hey guys, welcome back. Let's get ready for this. There are some things that you guys need to see. You're about to be shown some of the things that I'm going to be speaking to you about in this reading. Don't let them rush you. When you make this choice, don't let them rush you. This is a very important decision. Anyone who comes towards you at this time who is impatient for your decision or who impatiently anticipates your movements. Disregard. Thank you all for being here. The Four of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. You're dropping gems right now. You are dropping gems. Anecdotal gems. Okay. You're giving people important information. Don't let them rush you. You take as much time as you need to decide what you need to do. Weigh all of the options in a situation because that's what you're doing. You don't want to do something that you're going to regret or that will create negative ripple effects in your future. So you're being very meticulous. You want to honor yourself and everyone else involved. 
And you also don't want to be left wanting. You know that there's a lot at stake when it comes to making this decision. Where either choice that you have could lead down a different perspective path. But you know from experience that if this choice is rushed, everyone involved may be affected in a negative way. You know what loss is. You've experienced it. You've documented it and you can recall it very well. You don't need any reminders about where you've been and what you came from because you think about that each and every day. You know that when the dust settles and when the sun comes up and the damage is done, you will be the one that has to pick up the pieces. And the less shards that are on the ground, the easier your job is going to be. So you give people opportunities. And when you give people those opportunities, you know that they can either choose to take them or turn them down. Equally, you're aware that you have that same right. So you're gonna take as much time as you need to make this choice. You don't want your work to be in vain. You don't want for your energy to be wasted. So you're taking your time. You feel that you have to do this. You know that this course of action is the most effective. It's a tried and true method that has been proven within your life. And it's the most honoring method to achieve the goal that you desire. There is a method to your madness. Those around you may not accept or appreciate your methods they may even call you crazy. But there is a method to your madness. And this method is something that you've been given from a higher source, from a higher power. The power source, the source of power The source of your power, the source of your life is instructing you to take these steps. Sometimes you don't always want to be the one. You don't always want to be the one to have to do this, to have to think like this, to have to have these attitudes towards life or these perspectives about progression, but you do, and you're accepting that because you now see the beauty in your methods. And you're not allowing anyone to come in and change your mind. Five of Wands in reverse.
Wow, the star in reverse. <laughs> The magician okay now I'm gonna tell you why I'm laughing I'm laughing because you've got a group of people on the edge of their seat you've really really got a group of people okay on the edge of their seat. They're trying to anticipate your next move. But see, they'll never be able to anticipate your next move. For whatever reason, you're just unpredictable. That's because you finally accepted why you've had to have the losses that you've had in your life and what it all means. That's why they can't anticipate your next move. The people who have positioned themselves, because this is the way spirit told me to say it. The people who have positioned themselves on a lower vibration than you, on a lower level than you, are working tirelessly to put you in a position where you lose hope. Underneath the surface of several individuals and energies surrounding your life, your light, and your growth, they have positioned themselves on a lower vibration. They're putting all of their energy into trying and failing to create doubts in your mind about who it is that you are and what it is that you are meant to do. And every time they fail, they're exerting all of their energy, all of their manifestation power on trying to get you to think that you're going to fail. And yet, it's still no comparison to the energy that you possess and what it is that you are putting out into the universe. Whatever you are putting out into the universe is stronger. I feel like it takes five of them to stop one of you. And they're getting so tired. They are so tired. You may be a little fatigued. You may have to take a, a, a rest break. Pause for a minute. But it's nothing in comparison to the exhaustion that is being felt by the trembles of your presence. That's what you need to know. The 
energy that people are throwing at you is literally like someone adding fuel to the fire. It's literally like someone putting coals in the kiln or the stove or whatever. And this is what you need to know. That no matter how much energy that they invest into manifesting complications and confusion into your life, it's literally a drop in the bucket compared to what it is that you are creating. And not only is it a drop in the bucket, but it's also a situation where the energy that they're putting so heavily into you is bouncing right back towards them because you're radiating this energy of the pendulum. Whatever momentum is put into a pendulum is the same momentum that is used to project the pendulum. This, this. It swings back and forth. But the hand that casts the force is the hand that powers the pendulum's swing. You are said pendulum. It's interesting, when I was shuffling those um, angel number cards, I saw the master number, because there's master number 22, 33, 44, 55, maybe more, I don't know. But the master number 44 came up first. Then the master number 33. And I'm like, I'm just going to let, you know, whatever comes up, come up. Here it is again. It says any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. I am expanding. Thanks, haters. That is what you need to know. So keep letting them hate on you. Keep letting them speak however ill they would like to speak. That's fine. Because you are only having more fuel be added to your fire. I am perceptive you have an inquisitive mind that allows you to uncover important truths you have a special ability to read into other people's feelings a wisdom seeker and your angels ask to share your knowledge for the benefit of others so enlighten people That's what you're meant to do. Run into the fire of passion. Embrace it fully. Take on all of the feelings and experiences that come with it. Enjoy it. Observe the embers as they crackle. Metaphorically, that is. Yep. This is your choice. And you are the only one who can make it. So you do it 
the way that you know it needs to be done. Thank you guys for being here. I hope that I see you again. And I pray that moving forward, you find all the peace, joy, and happiness that you deserve in your life. See you next time. Bye.